What's up guys, I'm finally back here with another video. After a couple months, I had promised I was going to make another video. I'm sorry about that, I'm finally here. And this video, I'm deciding to talk a little about the ENTP and the ENTJ friendship, partnership, duo, whatever. I think I have a bit of experience in this sector because I've been surrounded by ENTJs almost my whole life. My mom's an ENTJ. My best friend from childhood is an ENTJ. I've also been surrounded by a lot of uh, ENTJs in my college. There were probably like five ENTJs in my class. Um, I'm an ENTP, if you need a reminder. And I'm sorry if this video may or may not be a little biased. But basically, ENTPs... Um, we're, we're a little more inclined towards the creative aspect of things, um, brainstorming, uh, trying to think of creative ways to get around um, certain things. Uh, ENTJs, they're objective driven, they set goals, they like getting things done. Um, just an example, uh, one of my ENTJ friends from college, uh, he actually had a plan laid out eight years in advance um, of what he wanted to do graduating out of college, all in order. That's an example of something an ENTJ would probably do. Not all of them, because with, within each personality type, there's different variations of people, so not all ENTJs would do that, that's just him. Uh, me, on the other factor, ENTP, I'm not really planning on doing uh, an eight-year plan, you know. Um, I, I like to think of what I, I like to do in my future, and def I definitely think about the future a lot, but ENTPs, I think the mentality would more likely be something like, plan for the fact that nothing ever goes according to plan. I think that's something more that an ENTP would think instead of making a detailed plan of everything for the future. Uh, ENTPs, we, we adjust more to changes. We can blend in more easily. Um, we can adapt. We're, we're very good at adapting to different situations, whereas an ENTJ would probably walk into a room and try setting the tone of um, the vibe in that room, him setting, trying to set the tone for that, for that room with people in it, whereas an ENTP would most likely try to adapt to whatever situation is presented. Uh, ENTJs, they like being in control. I like being in control too, but more in an indirect way. For example, let's say uh, I have a business. I, I wouldn't want to be the type of guy who's constantly behind every employee. Like, hey, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do that. No, um, I think I would be the type of guy who would try to give the employee um, a sense of um, confidence in him to, for me to be able to let him know that I trust what he's doing and try to give him mo uh, room to move around. I, I hate being micromanaged, I hate it. So I would probably try to give liberty um, to, to my employees if I had a company, whereas I think an ENTJ would probably be a little more on the back of people. Um, because ENTJs, they naturally like being in control. Um, whereas when we work together, I think it, it can get interesting sometimes because we, we each bring something different to the table. ENTPs, I think we're a little more creative than ENTJs. Uh, 
we we question i think we question things a lot more but entjs they're better at getting things done entps we we can also get things done but especially if it's something that interests us but entjs they're just very good at it so i think it, it would be an interesting duo for an entp to be more of the creative type of guy um, like forecast what um, the future could look like and an ENTJ would probably be best at actually accomplishing the little details that would begin that process to the end so every time I have a con conversation with an ENTJ there's kind of an attraction but at, in the sense of um, good conversations uh, interesting topics being talked about. We both don't really enjoy too much of the the side conversation type stuff, like um, who won the baseball game last night. I don't know. We're a little. We enjoy a little more intuitive conversations. But I, I think it would be interesting to see. A working duel between an ENTP and an ENTJ. I, I used to think Steve Jobs was an ENTJ. Apparently, uh, I don't. I don't think he is anymore after reading some stuff. But they say Steve Wozniak is an ENTP. So I used to think that was a cool ENTP ENTJ work combo. But they say Steve Jobs isn't an ENTJ. So I don't really know. But. It'd be interesting to put to the test. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to let me know. And I'll try thinking of another video to put up soon. Thank you.